Hello to all of the beautiful, enlightened souls joining me today. I am Moonbeam Starchild, and I will be guiding you through another artistic journey to the cosmic realm of fluid art. Namaste. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to do a thin consistency straight pour using rainbow color. So let me walk you through that. Um, my base coat color um, is uh, Amsterdam's ultramarine uh, blue. Um, and uh, because it's a very super, cons uh, super transparent color, I've gone ahead and painted my sides and my edges um, just so that the, uh, these thin consistency paints, the canvas doesn't just glow right through it. Um, that hopefully will tone some of that down. Um, so that's my base coat color. And then I have this lovely green color, which is Amsterdam Permanent Green Light. And then I have this nice, deep, bright yellow color, which is uh, A Atelier A2 Chromium Yellow Medium Hue, which looks like that. And this lovely orange color is another Atelier color. This is Atelier Interactive, and it's Transparent Paranone Orange. I think it's a great color. Um, this color is, I know it looks a little pink, but this is actually Primary Magenta from Amsterdam. Looks like that. And my purple. Um, I wanted a purple that was more of a true purple that didn't dry really super dark. So the only one that I found here in Costa Rica um, is this Chromacryl Acrylic Essentials. I think it's more of a student grade um, acrylic, uh, but I think having just one of these in here should be fine. Um, and it will dry more true to color, uh, it won't get uh, too dark. And then I do have some Amsterdam Titanium White also. So let me show you my consistency. Using my base coat color, it does leave a small mound that disappears fairly quickly. And it does leave a slight trace. Again, the trace only lasts a second or two. So it's a very thin consistency, uh, but not quite Dutch pour consistency. It's a little bit thicker than that. So there is some resistance as I'm, as I'm stirring. It doesn't feel like water. Uh, my canvas is uh, 18 inches by 24 inches. Um, with a thin consistency paint, I shouldn't need more than about 12 ounces of paint. Uh, but uh, before I do, before I put down my base coat, I am going to go ahead and layer my cup. So the first thing I'm going to do is put some of this ultramarine blue in the bottom of my measuring cup. And immediately following that, I'm going to put in some of the green here in the front. I'm choosing this color next to the blue first. I'm going in this order because blue and green play really well together. But blue and yellow make green. So if I put the yellow first, the yellow would pre pretty much disappear uh, into the blue and green that it creates. But hopefully using that green as a bit of a barrier, I can isolate that yellow and it will show up in the pore. Okay, so the first color, the green, did sink a little bit and I'm fine with that because uh, the blue and the green will make a nice color together. Uh, but the other colors I'm going to try and layer on top of each other so that they don't sink. I don't want these colors to mix too awful much. So that was the orange. This is the magenta. And the purple. white on top of that.
white always sinks. It is the densest color. Um, and that's telling me that I'm right at 12 ounces. Perfect. I am going to put it, top it up just a little bit with this blue, which is the base coat color, so that that's the first thing that comes out when I start my pour. And we'll set that off to the side, and we'll put down our base coat. Okay, we're gonna do a straight pour right here in the center. We're going to wiggle it back and forth a little bit as we get to the end here. And then hopefully we can catch that drip. Nice. All right. Wow, that orange. Wow. <laughs> That's a lot of orange. I only see a little bit of the purple right on the outside edge because that orange took over but i'm liking a lot of the rest of the stuff that i see there's some really cool textures and lines going to be in here that's going to be fun okay so before i tilt it out we're going to let this sit for a minute and let the air bubbles come up we're going to pop it a couple times some yellow in there okay I see it but boy did that orange take over that transparent paranone orange mm -hmm. the longer I wait before I tilt the more likely um, I will get some natural cells and also more air bubbles will come to the surface I'm really happy with this, except for the lack of purple. Hmm. Maybe I can keep this section over here that has the purple in it. And then I think I'll have all of the other colors.
Okay, here are the results of my uh, rainbow straight pour. I think this kind of looks like a coral reef. This looks like something growing up from the ocean. I think especially if we looked at it from this perspective. Looks like something growing. Anyway, so let's go ahead and see these colors. Fortunately, I think that magenta combined with the blue and gave me some purple because that other purple I put in there did not work out. <laughs> um, but I'm super loving this pour. This um, softness and transparency over here. I'm trying to get it to focus. You can see it better. Doesn't want to focus. The colors are just spectacular. I'm glad I was able to get rid of a lot of the orange that t looked like it was taking over when we first started. When I started stretching these lines out, I saw this transparency and I knew it was going to be beautiful. Especially, uh, yeah, if we follow this area up right here. Look at that. Wow, so beautiful. I love how it comes up in like that uh, red and purple and blue coming up through the yellow and green here and those little fingers coming up. And this part over here seems like a river running through it. Really cool, look at that. That's where I stuck my landing in the center. <laughs> so that's how far we stretched that center out. It was teeny, teeny, tiny, and we stretched that out so it's, you know, several inches big. Very cool. Yeah, I'm very happy with this. My rainbow straight pour, the rainbow coral reef. Yeah, well, no, I don't know what I'll call it, but I think it's really nice. I hope you liked it too. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And... Come back and see me sometime.